Well, hello, Harvard Hornets. It's Allie Altman here, and I am looking forward to talking with you for a few minutes today about some ways to reduce anxiety. I am a school counselor here at Crosby Elementary School, as well as a licensed clinical professional counselor. And my colleague and I, Mrs. Spaulding, we are both school counselors here at Crosby Elementary. And we love to talk with the kids about ways to reduce anxiety. And one of the things that we love to talk with the children about that we thought would be a great thing to talk about with all of you today is how we can think about our thinking. Because there's actually a lot of good research that shows us that our thoughts can actually change the, the brain chemistry. So if we're having like an automatic negative thought, that can actually release neurotransmitters and chemicals in the brain that can actually cause us to feel more stress in our entire body. But the good news is there's ways that we can become aware of that and talk back to those automatic negative thoughts that impact our brain. So I thought I would talk with you for just a few minutes about that today. Last year, Mrs. Spaulding and I loved talking with the kids at Crosby about these automatic negative thoughts. In fact, we read this really cool book called Captain Snout and the Superpower Questions. And it was about an anteater and how the students were able to talk back to those automatic negative thoughts. And the book was kind of cute because it got them thinking about them being like ants, like automatic negative thoughts or, or ants that get into our mind and kind of steal our happiness and make us feel negative and sad or frustrated. But the good news is that we have control over that because we can become aware of it and we can kind of talk back to those automatic negative thoughts. This book was written by a world-renowned child psychiatrist. His name is Dr. Daniel Amen, and he's done a lot of research on how our thinking actually impacts our brain, our brain chemistry, and our in our type, excuse me, and our entire body. So for example, if we're having like a really sad thought or a, a negative thought, we um, or a frustrating thought, we might have a situation where we realize our heart is beating faster, or our palms might be getting sweaty, or we might just really be having a difficult time concentrating because that thought actually causes our brain to release some chemicals that that make us feel more stressed. But like we said, on the, the good news is that we can actually become aware of that and talk back to those um, automatic negative thoughts and reframe them with healthier thoughts. So I thought today I would just give a couple examples. So like, for, for example, um, maybe I'm, you know, running late to school or I forgot my, my folder. So my brain is feeling, you know, really stressed and it's releasing some neurotransmitters that's causing my heart to beat quickly or making it hard for me to concentrate. But I can talk back to that, that, that automatic negative thought. And I can say, you know, maybe I'm running a little bit late here, but you know, I'm just gonna take a deep breath. I'm gonna do the best that I can. The good news is that I really care about being on time and I'm really trying my hardest. And you know, if I'm a minute or two late, it'll be okay. It's not worth me getting all worked up because then actually I might actually end up being more late because I might trip or, you know, um, have, a, have a bigger problem. So that'll be one way to talk back to an automatic negative thought. Here's another example. Actually, this one happens to me quite a bit. It actually happened to me right before this video. So I might have the automatic negative thought of, oh my goodness, I'm going to do this, this little video recording and people are going to laugh and they're going to think she's not doing a very good job with that recording. Um, in fact, I don't even like to be on the camera too much. So I do get a little bit nervous and it actually happened to me before this recording. Well, I talked back to that automatic negative thought. I talked back to that aunt and I said, you know what? I can't tell the future. I'm not a fortune teller. How do I know if I'm gonna do a bad job or not, unless I try? And in fact, even if I do mess up a little bit, which I did a couple seconds ago, I kind of fumbled with some of my words. Is that really a, a terrible thing? Do I need to really um, awfulize that or catastrophize that? And is that a big deal? No, in fact, 
I don't need to be an all or nothing ant. Or that's, that's an automatic thought of thinking all or nothing. Unless it's perfect, it's not okay. So that's another example of an automatic negative thought, an ant that's all or nothing. It's either perfect or it's really bad. Or how about we're just doing the best that we can and even if it's not perfect, that's okay. And unless we try, how do we know if we're gonna really mess up? And can we really be a mind reader? That's another automatic negative thought. Can we really read someone's mind and know if they're thinking, oh, they're not doing a very good job? Of course we can't. So those are examples of ways that I talked back to some of my automatic negative thoughts before I did this video. And I look forward to sharing some more automatic negative thoughts and some more examples of how you can talk back to negative thoughts that you're having and how that is a way to actually increase calmness, increase your joy and your ability to concentrate just by talking back to those automatic negative thoughts. The way that we think about our thinking has a huge impact on our mental health as well as our physical health and our ability to learn. So I look forward to talking to you more this year about ways that you can increase your joy and happiness and reduce stress. So I hope you all have a great day. And remember, talk back to those automatic negative thoughts, those ants. Have a great day. Bye.